all right it looks like we are once again live welcome everybody to another episode of yankees america guns and freedom chat <clears throat> or podcast although it never gets posted anywhere so it doesn't really count as a podcast but we like to call it that but uh if you've never been here before this is just a place uh to come every day it's a conversation between me and my viewers uh you don't have to talk to me if you don't want to you can talk amongst yourselves over in the live chat it's what's there for uh, it's a place you can come every day for an hour and have conversations with like-minded individuals about common interests. But if you do want to talk to me, that's what I'm here for. I'm here so you can ask me questions, so you can suggest topics, so you can come on in the live chat if you want. <clears throat> you can call me out if you think I've been wrong about something, like all the people today that are telling me, Judaism is a nationality, it's an ethnicity. No, it isn't. There's no genetic marker for Judaism. <clears throat> uh, I know a lot of people like to pretend like there might be just to assuage some people, but no, there's no genetic marker marker for Judaism. It's a religion. Uh, there's genetic markers for being Middle Eastern, for being from the Israeli part of the world, but there's no genetic markers for Judaism. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, uh, suck on that. But uh, if you're one of those people who wants to ask me questions, suggest topics, or even call me out, just put them over here in the live chat. The one thing I ask is that you put at the Yankee Marshall in front of your questions so that I will be able to see them. I will try to answer all of them. If I don't get to yours, I'm sorry. It wasn't on purpose. Uh, if you don't put Yankee Marshall in front of them, it's your fault. If you do, well, then it could be a nice fault. Uh, we could just run out of time. I could have missed it, whatever. Uh, it wasn't intentional, and I apologize. If you've got a question or comment you definitely want answered, you don't want to wait to see if I get to it, you can uh, do a super chat. Super chats are also the way we fund programs like Pets and Vets. So if you want to fund the Pets and Vets program where we donate monthly to help as many animal charities and veterans charities, and some of them are animal and veteran charities, uh, please go over and donate. If you want to be able to help us help out other people who have pets with bills that they can't afford to pay and help keep their pets healthy, Go become a patron uh, or do a super chat. The best way is to become a patron because with Patreon, we get to keep like 97% of the money. Uh, with YouTube, they take about half. So not good on that. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, like I said, both of them support the Pets and Vets programs, the Friend program, etc. Uh, the other program we run is TYM Triple P. Uh, if you want to go register for TYM Triple P, go over to TYMP pistolproject.com and there's a place on the page you can sign up for TYM Triple P. I uh, will be doing the announcement of the newest winners here in about six days. Uh, they're with the judges now. <clears throat> uh, if you uh, are not someone that needs to sign up for TYM Triple P, but you'd like to support it because it is the only program of its kind. It's the only, uh, we're the only channel on YouTube. And I say we, because it's you all make it possible. That actually gives back to the community and tries to grow the gun community by providing firearms for people who can legally own them but can't financially afford them, who still should have the right to defend themselves and their families, even though they don't have a lot of money. Uh, the Second Amendment is not just for the wealthy. So uh, if you want to support that, all it takes is a little bit, just a little bit a month. Go on over, donate $5, $10 a month via Subscribestar <clears throat> or you can just buy merchandise. I put new merchandise up all the time. <clears throat> I got a new uh, shirt, uh, hat that I'm putting up today. I just haven't got around to it yet. Need to get it put up. Uh, but otherwise, those are the things you can support. TYM Triple P and uh, buy a subscribe star and buy merch and uh, pets and vets by being a patron or doing super chats. I want to go over here and see if there's anybody who's ordered anything today so we can say thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, today we got Phil Money, who, who, who bought a Save the 40s camp mug. So I got to add Phil Money to the Save the 40s. Hold on. Let me add him over here. Phil Money. That sounds like a porn name. Uh, also, we got over here, I think there was another one. Let's see. That's not the right page. There we go. Uh, those were yesterday. Uh, Sarah Thompson, who I've submitted this order twice already. Why is this not going through? Uh, she bought some hats. Prep a pig, Phil, a dot block, 
uh, and her, for some reason, her order is not going through. I have placed it multiple times. There's money there for it. I put the money in earlier. Let me push it through again. Boom. But I think those are the only two today. Those two orders. <clears throat> On hold, out of stock. What's out of stock? Oh, the gray hats are out of stock. They have to wait to get the gray hats in. Well, that's not the biggest thing in the world. Uh, <clears throat> uh, if you ordered a gray hat, is there another color you can have? Send me an email, let me know, or else you can wait for the gray ones to come in, or I can get you another color made right away. Uh, but those are the only orders today. Uh, Sarah Thompson and uh, Phil Money. Uh, as far as patrons and subscribe star people to say hello to, uh, we don't have any new patrons. Uh, we lost one. Uh, someone just canceled theirs. Just it looks like a few minutes ago. No, it was 11 hours ago. Uh, and someone up to theirs, but I can't see it on here. I can't remember who it was that upped their membership. They raised it by like $5 to get on the silver draw, bullet draw on this month. Uh, and as far as subscribe star is concerned, where is subscribe star? I don't have it up. I don't think there was anything new on subscribe star. No, nothing new on subscribe star. It's still the same. <clears throat> so I don't got to say thank you to anybody else for that. Uh, let me get over here. I think we got a super chat coming in. I got to take care of. DM Fowl says, just because... Is this where the Zionist meeting is happening? I guess so, but we don't say that out loud. That's on the hush hush, remember? Uh, DM Fowles also gifted a membership. I don't know who got it. Let's see if we can see who got it. Brian Miller got it. <clears throat> so Brian Miller is now a channel member. He's a WAP member, so everybody scooch over, make room. He's got to get in there. Uh, Gerald Cagney donated to the Pets and Vets Fund also and says, hi, Grandpa. When you completing those PSA daggers, can I have your Bond Arms bullpup? No, you cannot have my Bond Arms bullpup. I like that gun. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I was having some trouble with it last night. I don't. Well, it was just when I was dry firing it. If I was dry firing it slow, sometimes the trigger wasn't catching. But I had just taken it apart. Maybe I need to fit, put it back together right. Uh, <clears throat> but. Uh, no, you can't have it. And I don't know when I'm going to finish those others. I guess whenever budget allows, uh, I'm going to think let Caden finish the one and then let it be his gun. So he can build it and it can be his first polymer gun. Pink lemonade. Ooh, that's tart. That's not very sweet. Crystal light pink lemonade. It's very tart. Didn't have any of the regular lemonade. Oh, that's tart. <clears throat> all right. Now that that's all done, let's get over to... Uh, uh, hopefully, most of you have finished masturbating to the, uh, the graphic at the beginning of the chat by now, so we can get started. Uh, good evening. <clears throat> uh, uh, good evening, ye old fartette. Uh, good evening, Yankee. South Carolina is officially a constitutional carry state now. Yeah, what's that make? 28 or 29? It's one or the other. It's either 28 or 29. We're well into the majority now of states being constitutional carry states. Uh, I'm all about the cult being inclusive, but I'm not so sure about letting in gingers. Well, we have only let in one ginger. We can only have one ginger at a time. Well, one male ginger at a time. Female gingers, I don't care. Plus, women dye their hair red on purpose. Uh, a man ever drove dyed his hair red on purpose, that would be, he couldn't be here because he's retarded. Uh, but yeah, we only have one male ginger. Do you have 22s? Uh, not really. My son has some. I don't really. I have a rifle, a 22 rifle, just for when the zombies come, of course. I got 10 22 with a silencer. <clears throat> and extended magazines, extendos, I guess, uh, for when the zombies come, but that's about it. Uh, have you been able to check out the Spore revolvers? What are your thoughts? I haven't been able to check them out. I haven't seen one anywhere. 
Uh, I'm really interested in that. What is it called? The club? I think what it is, the spore club. But it's no one can tell you exactly what they're going to cost uh, in America. So I don't know if I'll ever own one. Uh, some people say they're going to start at 3,000. Some people say they start at 4,000. Some people say that's not even, not even going to be that cheap. But I don't know. Uh, I mean, I definitely want one. Uh, the shorter barrel uh, club edition. But whether I ever own one or not is another matter entirely. Now, I might come out and I might like them so much that I'm willing to sell a bunch of shit to get one, but that's probably the only way I'd be able to get one quickly. Um, after tour short, after tour short today, I now know you are a werewolf. You are a were mothman. You are not a werewolf. You're a were moth. There's no such thing as a were mothman. Mothman don't bite people. And you can't catch Mothman. You're either the Mothman or you're not. I uh, sent you an email. Vicky's order number. Yes, I know. I saw. I mocked the person who thought a guy named Yankee Marshall who talked like a hillbilly wasn't from this country. Yeah, I mean, I, if I'm playing, I'm a pretty damn good one. I'll have to say that. Uh, if I'm an actor, if I'm a foreign actor, I'm a good one. I just respond to that because it was so silly. I mean, it's so, so silly. Uh, it's <clears throat> you got to laugh at these things, and but you also have to keep in mind there are people like that out there that believe that stuff. They really believe I'm a plant that I'm being paid by, like Bloomberg, I guess, to weaken the gun community. Which I'm like, wow, I'm really going about that in weird ways, considering I'm a constitutional Second Amendment ad, uh, absolutist, uh, and I, you know, give guns away every month and encourage people to buy guns and all these other stuff. I'm really bad at my job. And I tell people don't compromise at all on gun legislation. Even when other people that are saying, yeah, those people shouldn't be allowed to have guns. I'm like, well, if they are allowed to have guns, they should be in prison. I won't use deficits in our system, uh, legal system as an excuse to deny people rights. The government's done that for too long. They've always said, look, all these dangerous people are out there. Uh, and since we're not locking them up like we should be or rehabilitating them like we should be, you should surrender all your power to us so that we can protect you. I'm like, no, do your job and lock them up, rehabilitate them, protect people that way. Taking our freedoms away from us isn't protecting us, it's setting us up for failure. Uh, Mike D says, thoughts on Illinois HB 3239 new FOID BS must get a permit from local PD. Well, those are being those laws are being struck down left and right about having to buy per, get a permit from the government to exercise your rights. Yeah, those aren't doing very well in court. So I don't know why they bother keep make, writing those laws because every single one of them that's been challenged was by somebody was standing has failed. Uh, so I'm not sure why they even keep writing those. Uh, Gadsden Gun Guy became a member, a WAP member. So everybody move on over, make more room. Someone else is coming in the WAP. I will have to tell him though, make sure you go in feet first, uh, because it is a little sticky. So make sure you got your shoes on and you go in feet first. Uh, <clears throat> do, do, do. Oh, and I was mocking that person, by the way, too, if you didn't. But it's sad, though, but you have to remember those people exist. Uh, he's a, a big MAGA guy, obviously, probably a QAnon guy based on his icon, which you guys couldn't see, that I blocked, blurred out. There's people out there who believe that QAnon stuff. Even though every time it's wrong, they just forget that it was wrong. And then they're... And they go on thinking everything they say is right. Talk about selective memories. It's like people who believe the doomsday cults, you know, like that one religious doomsday cult that has so far now named like 27 into the into the world top dates. And they always fundraise and uh, try to get people to prepare and send them money and blah, blah, blah. And then the date comes and passes and never happens. But the next time they make a prediction, People make a big deal out of it. There were even people last time, remember, uh, in the year 2000, 
uh, that were like, I'm renting up a credit card and bought everything I, everything new in my house because they're not going to have to pay for it because we're all going to die in two months. <clears throat> and now I'm like, those poor people found out different. Um, that's not, that's not, I'm not making that up. That was on national news, those people. Uh, where was I? I don't know what this is. This is just a bunch of names. Uh, hey, Yank, did you know the leather patch on your hat is held on with an adhesive and not stitched? I don't know. I haven't looked, but most patches are ironed on, so that's how they're mostly put on. Uh, does it even have stitching on it? I don't have the hat out here, so uh, I can't even look because I don't have the hat out. I don't have a hat out here. Where did I put that hat? It's not out here, I don't think. But I can't verify that because I don't have one here, but it doesn't surprise me because most patches nowadays are, are, are ironed on. They're, well, not ironed, but they're heat pressed on. That's how the pattern things are put on the shirts usually, too. <clears throat> so it's not a big deal to me. I'm glad I asked. However, they're done, they, they, they're they nice. So they, they feel nice. They look nice. The detail's really good. I am so I was so happy with them. Uh, we just got an order of Save the 40s order uh, for a shirt from William Keller Jr. Got to put him on the list now. William Keller Jr. There. Oops, I didn't spell his last name right. Okay. <clears throat> I called him William Seller. Um, what did he get? He got a, oh, Save the 40 shirt. I just said that, didn't I? That's why I had to put his name on the damn list. Uh, Glock Den just became, uh, just upped his membership to a $5 membership over on Patreon. And he will now be in the silver bullet drawing. Uh, where am I at? Taurus Model C38 pump action. Uh, stainless pump action. 38357 with three 38 case loaded and 180 grain bullets at around 700 feet per second. It is hearing safe without a suppressor. Too long to fit in a 38 revolver, but nice to fire an indoor range. Well, that's nice. Here's a picture of the gun. He sent over. Uh, I still would wear ear protection. I mean, you're supposed to wear ear protection when using like nail guns and stuff. So definitely wear ear protection, but that's kind of cool looking. I see a lot of those, but I don't know anything like that. I don't see a lot of them, but I see some of them. Uh, <clears throat> how are you doing this evening? Not bad. I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, and I do have Jewish heritage. I mean, I got Jewish members in my family tree. They were German Jews uh, before they went back to the motherland. Well, actually, most of them came over here, but some of them went back to Israel. <clears throat> uh but uh, yeah, that doesn't mean I'm Jewish because Jewish is a religion. And I don't think I could be religious anyway because it's on my dad's side. Uh, so I couldn't technically just be Jewish by default anyway because it transfers, I think, only via your mother's side. It doesn't transfer automatically via your father's side. I think I'd have to convert. Uh, so uh, I don't think it even counts, period. Um. And I'm definitely not a Zionist. I'm not a big fan of Israel. And I never can't remember. To what, I can never keep straight. What, what do people on the right feel about Israel right at the moment? Because all the time you hear about the fucking Jews controlling the banks and blah, blah, blah. And that's usually right wing stuff. Uh, and then you hear support Israel. And that's usually right wing stuff. So which is it? I'm never really sure. Uh, Jack Bauer, Yank. Can't you add Jack Bauer to save the 40s? I'm the guy who bought gray shirt. Would you rather carry? Wait. Oh, you want it to be under Jack Bauer instead of William Keller Jr.? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I can do that. I hope I'm changing the right name. Yep. Um... I need to update that this week. I didn't update it. I usually update it every week. I update the list. I didn't update the list this week. Uh, after doing an inventory of my raffles, 
I need a side by side. Any recommendation? I don't have a side by side. Long barrel work coach. Uh, I'll tell you one thing though. Uh, oh, good lord! I'm blanking on them now. The coach I had, I can't remember the name of it right now. Someone help me out on the name of the coach guns that a lot of SAS people use. I had one. Oh, and they're they're perfectly fine, and they even make higher end ones, but. You know, not high end, but higher than the base ones. God damn it. What was the name of that thing? I had one for the longest time. I don't have it anymore. I sold it to someone else who does. Well, actually, I pretty much gave it to that guy. But <clears throat> uh, I forget the name of the damn thing. But I don't have a side by side. Uh, Jack Bauer also said, I, Would you rather carry 40 Smith and Wesson or 357 Sig? Uh, probably I prefer 357 Sig, but you know. 40 will do too. Uh, a friend of a friend told me you are a Shriner. Is that true? No, I don't have a Fez. You have to have a Fez. Uh, put on your Fez. That's what I just said. I don't have a Fez. If I had a Fez, I'd wear it. I don't care. Is it a bad thing to be a Shriner? I don't remember. Is that is that okay or is that not okay? Uh, yeah, I don't remember if that's okay or not. Um, burr, 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 burr. <clears throat> uh, you would be okay if you were was in politics. You would release your tax returns like three times a year just to prove you was on the up. Oh God, no! If I was in politics, I'd be on the take big time. And what's the point of getting into politics if you're not going to be on the take? I mean, there was, I don't want to go up there and have to do that. I'm going to lie and sell my dignity and everything else and not get money for it. So that's, I'd be on the take. I'd be hiding my fucking tax returns as much as possible. I'd be like, what's his name? Kavanaugh. Uh, who paid off $2 million worth of debt for him before he became a Supreme Court justice? Do we even know that yet? We just know that one day he had like $2 million worth of debt. The next day is all paid off uh, when he was nominated. So I don't think we still know who paid for it. So that money come from somewhere and I'd be taking the money in on some of that money too. I want somebody to give me $2 million. Uh, I don't want to have to get a real job after I become a politician. <clears throat> I'd be horrible. You people give me too much credit. I'd sell out in a minute. The only reason I ain't sold out yet on this channel is because people will think never offered to buy. Well, I mean, they did back in the early days, but they didn't offer me enough. Someone uh, back to dump truck of money up to my door. I'm going to be what I'll be like. I'll be talking about how we need background checks and uh, how Caltech's best gun ever made uh, and all this other stuff. How you should join the NRA. You know, I'll be, you know, whatever. It's a big enough dump truck of money. I'm not, I'm not honest because I won't sell out. I'm honest because nobody will pay the price is the reason. Uh, Jack Bauer said, you are correct. Don't tell anyone that I'm not really Jack Bauer. I think some of them suspect, but <clears throat> he suspects. Uh, at the fourth worst zoo, two zookeepers got caught in a gorilla enclosure. Thankfully, they escaped, so the gorilla wasn't murdered like poor Harambe. Yeah, the, the gorilla wasn't ever even trying to hurt them. He just ran around throwing stuff in the air and would actually run the opposite direction of them usually. Like if they crossed over this way, he ran past him over to this side, throwing stuff around and acting like a goofball. He never did anything overtly aggressive towards him. Uh, here's a merchandise idea. Justice Katanji Brown Jackson firing 800 rounds per second out of an AR-15 with a bump stock. Ugh, I don't know how to draw Justice Kintanji Brown. I can work on it, but I'd have to be a loose caricature because you can't put that much detail in a in a patch or anything. So, uh, <clears throat> is there a, nut, a cheaper, a, a quicker way to say her name, like KBJ or something? 
The mental hospital where one flew over the cuckoo nest was filmed is now the Museum of Mental Health in Salem, Oregon. <clears throat> we also have over in Oregon the the uh, 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 resort that was used in The Shining for all the outside shots uh, up on Mount Hood. Mount Hood Lodge, that's The Shining Lodge. Uh, it's still a lodge. Practical Bacon donated to the Pets and Vets Fund. Got an entry into the friend drawing. He became part of the problem today. He's funding my Zionist uh, agenda, I guess. I guess the Zionist agenda is to help out pets and buy people guns. Uh, I heard from a friend of a friend's cousin's second ex-wife that you actually carry Caltech and all the Smiths and Rugers are just for show. Well, oh, it's not real. You know, the reason I won't go back there and pick nothing up because if I went back there and poked it with a stick, you'd the, the, the ball over. The car, it's just cardboard backdrop. It's special effects. Last night, I, I almost had, I almost made myself look like an idiot. Or not last night, but night before last, I almost made myself look like an idiot and asked that guy, where'd you get the Mavis flag? Because he had a flag and where it was at on his wall, Mavis was right on it. And I forget that she's in the upper corner of my video. So I was like, is that a Mavis flag? And I was like, you're, you're an idiot to me. <clears throat> um... Can you make acorn ranger targets? I don't know if you can make, I don't know if I can make targets in any way, but I'm sure you can. I don't, you could take that and just print it out on some paper and make you some targets, I guess. I, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Um, where are we now? It's very dark. I can't see that. Uh, Richard Wilson sent us a picture of his new, uh, pistol but it's camouflaged see how well can you people see this is are my eyes going or is that hard to see it's a cz uh, pcr 75d pcr that which means it has a decocker which is the better one uh but it's it's kind of camouflaged there um do you have a rubber tip for the scabbard of your cane sword, so it don't scuff. What do you mean, rubber tip for the scabbard of my cane sword? You mean on the end of the cane? Are you talking like on the end of the cane? Well, yeah, it's got a rubber tip on it. It's just one of them twist off rubber tips you can put on there, kind of find a hole like this. Looks like an old pool cue because it was fi uh, carbon fiber. Uh, but it's got a rubber tip on it. I don't know where else you would talk about a rubber tip. There's no rubber tip on the blade or anything, but I don't think it's going to scuff. Uh, see, it's, it's very sharp. Ouch. It could be sharper on the sides, but it's still sharp enough to cut on the sides, but the tip is just so sharp. Uh, I still want to uh, eventually... Uh, get my whetstone out and polish it up or not polish it up, sharpen it up. Well, it's kind of like polishing, kind of the same thing. But. <clears throat> uh, we got an order over on uh, my store. Never even sure what to call that. What did he get? It's uh, uh, Gary the Grouch got, uh, what did he get? He got a couple stickers. Uh, and then he got a revolutionary Willie and a Willie versus Bruce t-shirt. Uh, he likes the, the Mickey designs, I guess. I like them too. I like the revolutionary Mickey is my favorite. Well, I don't know. The Willie versus Bruce is probably my favorite one just because it combines two of my loves. Uh, Mickey Mouse and uh, Bruce from Jaws. I like Jaws. I was, I've always been a big shark lover. Uh, love them. Terrified of them completely terrified uh won't get in the ocean over my head uh got pushed off of a catamaran uh in the bahamas one time and almost killed somebody for doing it uh because i flipped the fuck out 
Uh, also flipped the fuck out one time in Hawaii when a dolphin attacked one of my friends. Not attacked, but you know, came and said hello to someone on a mat on a floating mattress while I was pushing it. And I flipped the fuck out because she started screaming. I thought shark. All I saw was something flop up onto the. I thought shark. We're dead. And I was trying to sacrifice her to the shark by pushing it forward uh, so that I could run away. And that's when I realized it was a dolphin. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he scared me on porpoise. Uh, once upon a time, Bloomberg did try to buy a 2A channel. I'm forgetting the year he tried that. Well, I'm sure there's lots of them that he influenced, but they don't do well. So he can't really remember. They used to buy lots of ads. People would tell me when back when my channel actually got ads, uh, they would tell you, hey, so there was a Bloomberg commercial at the beginning of your uh a video and I'm like, good, let them waste their money. They're not convincing anybody who watches my channel that they're right. They used to buy big on gun channels. Now most of the gun channels don't get very much advertising. <clears throat> a ghost shadow uh, donated to the Pets and Vets Fund got an entry into friend drawing and says, any handgun can be a decocker, just appendix carry. And oh, yeah, well, that's a different kind of decocking. I don't want to do that. <laughs> then I'd have to decide what my pronouns are. I'd have to get a new name, you know, like Missy Melons or something. Uh, well, it looks like I already got a name. So if it happens, I guess I'm prepared. But I'd have to start shaving. I don't want to start shaving. I don't like shaving. That's one of the best things about being a, a bum. You don't have to shave. I used to have to shave every day, and I hated it. Uh, when I was in the military, I had to shave twice a day. I had to carry a big uh, shaver in my pocket and dry shave halfway through the day, or else I'd have five o'clock shadow. And if I was going to be doing anything duty-related after like four o'clock, I had to do a, a dry shave. Or if I was near water, I'd wet the razor. But most of the time, I'd just have to dry shave. My skin toughened up quite a bit, but didn't enjoy doing it. Uh, are you really even diabetic? Uh, that will be the next accusation. Well, I think I can. Uh, that's not something I think I'd claim if it wasn't true that I had the diabetes. Uh, I think the medications I take speak to that. Oh, good Lord. I, would, I was, I looked up the name of the well, I looked at the model of the name of the uh, medication I take. And I don't remember what it's called, but I think it was like the generic for something like. I remember the word was very similar to human, but I don't remember what it was. It began with an H, I think. The, the actual name, not the generic name. Uh, Sweetie used his Sweetie used his member chat to say, "I want to get some Underwood Hardcast 38 Special Plus P for my M642. They are spicy. I'm afraid it could damage the gun. What do you think?" Well, I wouldn't shoot at any of those Plus P rounds in an aluminum frame gun. Period. Much less the extra heavy loaded ones. Didn't the six wait the 642 alloy frame or is it steel frame? I gotta remember. Because there's the 640 and then there's the six. Yeah, the 640 is steel. The 642 is the alloy frame. Wouldn't be putting any plus P extra hot loads in it. I mean, they are rated for plus P, but I wouldn't go for any of the, you know, overloaded, heavy, hot, hard cast crap in any alloy frame gun. At least I wouldn't shoot much of it. I might carry it in it. Like if it was my self-defense round, I wouldn't be shooting it at rain. That's too much wear on the gun. Um, please help find Gary. He is a friend of the family and is missing. Ooh, wait. I hope they're meaning a person and not Gary the Glock. As it came up on my neighborhood alert thing. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Please help find Gary. A friend of the family is missing. Feel free to call with any help. Okay, no, it's a person. And his name's not really Gary. It's Gurgender, Gurgender Singh Gruel. I guess he's a missing. Whew, thank God it wasn't Gary Glock. People are noticing he's missing. Uh, let's see, where was I at? 
I got all the super chats. Uh, oops, it just I just jumped back down to the bottom. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oregon legislators are just now trying to pass a bill to ban drug use on public transportation. They are waiting on Governor Tina Kotek to sign it. Uh, I guess they decided that just to let people do drugs anywhere, anytime in public as much as they want wasn't a good idea. Which I mean, I don't know who would it. Now, I'm all for legalizing all drugs, but not public use of drugs. I don't think you should be allowed to be drunk in public, much less high on drugs, standing around, ugh, falling over in the street, high. Uh, if, if someone can tell you're intoxicated, you shouldn't be in public. Uh, the most you should be in public if you're that intoxicated is to go from the bar to a cab or an Uber and go home. But what people do in their own homes, I don't give two shits. If you want to sit in your backyard or your garage and shoot heroin, I don't care. But you don't get to do it in public. That was just the stupidest idea I think I've ever heard. Gadsden Gun Guy says, could I get an honest critique of my channel uh, to a gun? Well, I haven't seen your channel. I'd have you to send me like a link to a video or something. And then I'd have to watch it. <clears throat> we can see if that happens. You know, we can hope. Uh, you found one of them super exclusive West Virginia communities outside the USA 40 years before you came to the U.S. I guess. Uh, I was born and raised in West Virginia. I spent all my childhood in West Virginia. Uh until I was old enough to sign that line and get the fuck out of West Virginia, I was there. I went to college there. Well, even after I signed the line, I was still in West Virginia for a while because I went back, went to college. And uh, so things happen. Uh, there are people that believe Larry the Cable Guy is a Zionist plot to make Southerners look bad. It's just a stupid character comedy character if it wasn't true it wouldn't be on the internet geez that's true can't put stuff that's not true on the internet uh atf director steven dedel dedelbach is that right uh the atf doesn't have enough agents he says state and local police need more atf personnel to back them up no they don't i disagree uh Uh, Jacoby says, do you carry one in your wallet or are you beyond that? And we'll carry one what? What, medication? What are you talking about? You're talking about a condom? Uh, I ain't used a condom in, good Lord. I don't think I've seen a condom in 25 years. So, no, I don't carry one in. That'd be, that'd be ridiculous. Hope my kids got them. I've provided them to them before. Of course, I don't got to provide them to them. School gives them to them, but where they did when they were in school. Now they're old enough to buy them. So, uh, uh, Cowboy626 used his 20 month member, his WAP chat, to say, uh, How long should I wait to get it felony expunged? I don't know if there's a time limit on getting felonies expunged. Uh, I would try to see if there is, I'd do it the day the time limit hit. Uh, you got to contact an attorney usually to do it, but there's some places you can do it yourself. You just got to fill out forms. But I would do it as soon as I could. Wouldn't wait. Uh, Colorado's HB 24-1349 would impose an 11% excise tax on the sale of all firearms, firearms, accessories, and ammunition in the state. It ain't none of those cases made it to the uh, high up in the courts yet, but it seems to me that it's not very constitutional to put a tax on it right. Isn't that kind of like a poll tax? I remember Y2K, I was just a teenager. I thought the world was going to and like Armageddon, but Bruce Willis sacrificed himself for all of us. Yes, he did. I saw that. Wasn't there like two movies exactly the same out at the same time? Uh, 
but in Y2K, how old was I in Y2K? I was in my mid thirties, I guess. So, so basically just a teenager too. When you were in the military, would you have found to be a great honor if you were chosen and passed the requirements to become a tomb guard? Oh, God, no. I mean, it'd be an honor, but I wouldn't want to fucking do it. Nothing I hate worse than guard duty and drilling ceremonies and all this other stuff. and Standing still, ugh, I don't like it. I'm not, I'm not geared for it. I hated guard duty even. I hated night watch duty. And not just because they always woke you up halfway through your sleep night and your, your sleep at night to do it. Uh, just didn't like it. Uh, I don't like guard duty, period. I almost got uh, in a lot of trouble on guard duty one time because I was guarding, because I had the proper clearances to guard a installation in, I think it was, was I in Arizona? Uh, and this uh, major, I think he was, tried to come and enter the building. And he wasn't on the list of people that were approved to enter the building. He had been on the list, but he wasn't on it now. So I'm like, well, you're not on the list now. I can't let you in. And he threw a fit, yelled at me, threatened to have me demoted, all this other stuff. He even called the company commander. Uh, and the company commander came out in the middle of the night in his fucking pajamas and got in my face and says, do you recognize this man? I was like, yes. Has he been on the list before? Yes. Is he on the list now? No. Okay, then if he tries to come in again, shoot him. And then he got back in his car and he went back home. <clears throat> I thought I was going to get in trouble right there. So I told the, I was just like, well, I guess I got to shoot you if you try to come back in. I didn't shoot him. He didn't try to get back in. But like a couple few days later, I got relieved of that duty. But I think he got put back on the list. But I didn't have to do it for ever, thank God. I was just waiting for a, a slot to open up. That's the worst thing you can be is in between uh, uh, appointments, just waiting for your duty slot because you get, they find the weirdest things for you to do. I spent so much time when I was a, a, a E3 and an E4 going around picking up cigarette butts and policing property, got stuck working in reception station when I was an E4. It just not fun. Uh, if you're part Jewish, I'm not part Jewish. I have people in my ancestry that were Jewish. You can't be part Jewish. You're either Jewish or you're not. Uh, the nation of Egypt owes you reparations for enslaving your Hebrew ancestors under, uh, King, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, blah, 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 whatever. Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, they don't owe me nothing. I don't remember any of those people. Uh, Stoger and Greener are the top coach gun. Stoger, that's who made my coach gun. Stoger. Watching Xena, Warrior Princess, Lucy Lawless is still a dream. I, you know, I never watched uh, that show. That was out, what, like early 90s and stuff, early to mid 90s. I was too busy in that time period to watch much TV. So I didn't really see that. Uh, the only differences between most politicians is the type of hookers they like. That's true. Uh, they do tend to like different types of hookers. <clears throat> uh, a lot of the uh, Democrats, they tend to like them young ladies, you know, them fresh off the poll ladies. Uh, and uh, most of the Republicans like the, you know, young men right off the poll. People say something about, well, the Democrats have got some openly gay people now. I'm like, yeah, they still don't have nearly as many gay members as the, the Republicans. I mean, little Lindsey Graham and all those guys it used to be, you know, it seems like if you're gay and Southern, you got two jo two choices, either become a politician or join the priesthood. <clears throat> all these guys that get up there and rail, how many of them get caught in uh, airport bathrooms and uh, prostitution stings with male prostitutes? It's just, it's crazy how many of them it is uh if you go into politics please set me up with one of those six-figure jobs where i have a made-up title that makes me sound important and i don't have to work well i thought that'd be my job if i went into politics isn't that my job i'm not giving you my job 
I can never get elected in politics anyway. I got too many skeletons in my closet. There's too many times they would, I'd be on stage and they'd come up with some horrible gotcha moment. I'd have to be like, yeah, I remember that. Woo, that was, that was quite a weekend. Um, would you sell yourself out if Caltech gave you two tump trucks of money? Well, God damn, damn I would. I'd tell you how uh, the PF9 or whatever it is, the best gun you could ever carry. Everyone should have one. I'd even carry one for the right amount of money in public, not all the time. And I'd have a backup gun. How about a Mavis flag in the merch options? You know, I don't know if you can make flags. Let's see. Catalog. Let's go. Catalog home. Let me see. Flag. I guess you can make a flag. Huh. I didn't know you can make flags, but yeah, you can make a flag. <laughs> what size is it? Come in. I should make a Mavis flag. I should make a Yankee Marshall flag. I have a Yankee Marshall flag right there that uh, Aries Graphics made for me. It's very nice. I got two of them, actually. Uh, <clears throat> I'm very fond of it. I should make some flags. I can look into that. I'm going to have to write down flags. Make sure to make that L very prominent or I won't know what I was talking about. Flags. Uh, flash in the pan said P's and V's and hail Phil. Hail. It's all hail. All hail Phil. Yes. Not Heil. I think you wrote Heil Phil. I don't think that's... How do you spell Hail? H-A-I-L. H-E-I-L is the bad kind, I think. Uh, Dale Riggity, except, except for being late, I got nothing. Well, being late doesn't mean you got anything to add to the conversation. Uh, it just means you're late. You can't be late, though. Aren't you Catholic? That's going to cause a conundrum. Uh, that pick is hard to see. Yes, it is. It is very hard to see. I was right. Paul D. Use. Okay, here we go. Hey, Yank, what 10 millimeter would you recommend for hiking, hunting, looking at Smith & Wesson M&P, but would prefer something in CZ97 CZ and 10 millimeter? Well, what I would recommend is a Smith & Wesson 686 and 357 Magnum. It would be serve you much better in any of those situations. Uh, but if you have to have a 10 millimeter, uh, I don't know what I would actually recommend, but you know, it's hard to find good 10 millimeters these days. At least you got more options now. Uh, I would go with a Glock 29 Gen 5 before I went with the MP, just simply because I don't really like MP all that much. And I've heard some issues with the new MP 10 millimeters, but I like the looks of the Springfield Armory, I like the function of the G20 from Glock. Uh, but if you want something smaller, the G29 from Glock, I think what I would go with. I don't think I would be, uh, but I'd like I said, best one of those out of the bunch would be a Smith & Wesson 686. It'd be better to have seven rounds of 357 Magnum for anything you're going to meet in those type of situations any day of the week over 20 rounds of 10 millimeter. You ain't going to get to get off all your shots anyway if you're like going against a bear or a cougar or anything like that. You're going to get off one good shot if you're lucky. Um, that dolphin probably thought, what a brave and courageous man. You know, he probably thought that, that bitch just sacrificed her. That, that guy just sacrificed his bitch to me. NEA is infatuated with Katie Britt. He thinks she should be the Trump VP. Tell your friends. Oof. She seems kind of dumb during her rebuttal. She get a lot of heat for that, for... For, I think they're saying she made something that happened 20 years ago in Mexico. The Bush administration sound like it happened recently. I didn't watch her rebuttal. I didn't watch State of the Union. So I did watch a clip of like Biden mingling in the crowd after the State of the Union and how it was like, all right, it showed everybody who said he was old. And I'm like, oh, I saw some old man doddering around in the crowd. The way he moved made me think, oh my God, he's even older than I thought he was. Uh, I don't know where people are getting their. Uh, opinions on things from. Um, let me see. Where are we at on time? We got 10 minutes left. Uh, where am I at? 
The scabbard of your cane sword is rounder than I remembered it being, so the rubber tip is round as well. well yeah, it's a round cane. It's perfectly round. Uh, like a pool cue. Very much like a pool cue. Humalog. Humalog? Humalog? Hmm. Hunter, you need to type. Hey, Yankee Marshall, guess what? That's all he said. Guess what? Guess what? Uh, is it chicken butt? Uh, like Fiddler on the Roof also. Oh, I like Fiddler on the Roof also. I don't know what that has to do with much of anything. YouTube isn't letting me do a super chat. Sucks. Ha. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't like conservative leaning lesbians or something. I don't know. YouTube's got a lot of hates. I don't know what all they hate. I can't, I can't keep track. Uh, we should have the same rifle as the military now that the military has adopted the SIG Spear. How will we be able to afford them? I don't know. I can't afford one. Every time I hear the name Amy Coney Barrett, I'm, I think of Cheese Coney Chili Dog. I think a traitor myself. I even have a shirt that has her picture. It just says traitor on it. ACB traitor shirt. Uh, Washington gun law lawyer is doing a bunch of videos saying California, Colorado is going to be fucked like Washington state. Is he your primary resource on gun laws? Oh no, I gave up on that guy a while back. Uh, even the people inside the movement that he's part of all now, have got the same opinion that boy he sold out fast uh he became all about money and views real quick sensationalism and fear-mongering i thought at first he was just confused on some things but turns out he's willing to be dishonest to make money go go figure who would have ever thought an attorney would be willing to be dishonest to make money it's kind of like saying water can be wet sometimes what do you hope happens in season four of the boys? Oh, I don't care. I just, I'll watch it. That's all I care about. I don't really care what happens. As long as it's interesting, as long as it's entertaining, I don't care. It could be shocking, crazy, whatever. I'd rather it be something that I didn't know was going to happen than something that I wanted to happen. Because I want to be surprised. Uh, did you see anything of the State of the Union address? No. Did not watch any of it. Uh, Diane Fawcett, the lady who lived with the mountain gorillas, was buried next to her gorilla friends in Rwanda. That's sweet. That is that is sweet. Uh, can you make a weed and guns flag? No. Still sold like one item out of that, maybe two. Uh, so a nice full auto Desert Eagle in 50 AE is the best defense weapon or an M16 that released freedom in full auto since the bears move quick. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't want any of those big heavy things to have to maneuver if I would be attacked by a bear. I'd want something that I could still have a chance, like something, a chest rig that I could still have a chance of using if I was pinned to the ground. What is your opinion of Brandon Herrera? I don't, that name sounds familiar, but I don't know who that is. You should make a flag for your cult. You started octopus clan or whatever you call it for the meetings. Got to have a flag. Yeah, I do need a, I do need a fill flag that just says in fill we trust or all hell fill. <clears throat> Let me make sure I got all the super chats because we are just about out of time. Yes, I'm all caught up on them. Who is Brandon Herrera? I got to look that up now. Hold on. Brandon, is it Herrera? Herrera? Herrera. Brandon Herrera. Uh, I looked him up. I still don't know who the fuck he is. Apparently, he's a politician. Don't know who he is. Never heard of him. 
So he's running for Congress, but he's not running in my state. So I don't got a fucking clue who he is. <clears throat> Uh, it's been a long time since Yankee Marshall has made anything wet. Don't you, you don't know how that picture I used today made a lot of people very feisty. People rubbing out many to that today, I'm sure. I probably caused a, a, a rise in Kleenex stocks. The AK guy. I don't know who that is either. I don't know why he just said, but AK guy, you mean G Webs? He knows a lot about AKs and likes AKs. Uh, I am very respectful of the gorillas at the zoo. I never make eye contact with them because I don't want them to get angry and pound the glass. Why? Well, yeah, I don't. I, I mean, I just try to watch them from a distance. I don't go to the zoo very often, but I do like the gorillas when I go to the zoo. I like the gorillas. I like the penguins. I like the rhinos. I'm very fond of rhinos and hippopotamus. In fact, I'd like to have a hippopotamus for Christmas. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. That is what I'd really like to see. <clears throat> um, where was I? Am I done? Am I at the bottom of the chat? I think I might be done. Brandon H. is friends with Demo Ranch, Ranch and Kentucky Ballistics. I know who Demo Ranch is. I don't know who Kentucky Ballistics is, but I that doesn't make me want to know who he is. I, I'll say that. Uh, we are out of time, and I am out of chats. I think I got all the way through the chat tonight, just right in the right amount of time. Uh, so I want to say thanks to everybody for coming tonight. Thanks for everybody who did super chats. Thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. Thanks to everybody who supports me on Subscribe Star. Thanks to everybody who goes and buys merch. Merch has the, been the lifeblood of TY and Triple P lately. Uh, I appreciate everything everybody does to support the channel financially. Also, if you're just someone who watches my videos and hopefully thumbs them up and uh, 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 shares them every chance you get, I hope. I appreciate all that. Uh, I appreciate everything everybody does for the channel. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to keep doing the things we've done for years to come. We'll see, but hopefully. Uh, I'll see you all again tomorrow. Same Yank time, same Yank channel. Until then, remember, always can't wait. It's too early. I got uh, two minutes left. Everybody's already leaving. They already lost like 40 people. Uh, I'm Pretty much out of Pring, pr, penguin penguins. I almost said Pringles. Uh, penguins is practically chickens. Oh no, penguins are cool. Chickens can't swim like that. You ever seen a penguin underwater? It's like a fucking shoo, like a torpedo. Brandon is part of the Leviathan group. Oh, that's enough. That's all I need to know. I don't need to know any more than that. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and go, even though we're two minutes early, because I already told everybody we were leaving. And there ain't no more questions coming in. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for coming. I appreciate it. I'll see y'all again tomorrow. Maybe we'll do two extra minutes tomorrow. There's been lots of times I've went over. Way more times than I uh, have gone early. So I think I've more than made up for it. And the fact that I've taken like two days off in, what, four years should, should work in my favor, too. So uh, thanks, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again.